Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Denali 4-in-1 Combo Kit. I purchased this for $146 off of Amazon. Now Amazon says this is their branded tool line now, brand new. And they do say that it does use the 20 volt skill batteries. But they also have their own Denali brand battery that comes with it. So here's everything that comes in the kit. We get a battery charger. We get two of these two batteries. They're 20 volts, two amp hours. We get a reciprocating saw, a circular saw, and a cordless drill, and a light. Now I did have a trouble finding this blade here for the circle saw. I'll show you where it is in the box. Okay, so when you open the box and take everything out, I didn't think the blade, the, the blade came with it, but it was tucked away in this side here, kind of hidden a little bit. Okay, so here's what the batteries look like. They got a little indicator. Press this. It'll show you the status of the charge. Here's the battery charger. You're simply going to slide them on. Now, it's got a green light and a red light, but I like that they got a diagram on here that shows you exactly what those lights mean. Now, mine's fully charged. The green light's on steady. That means charged. If it was flashing, that means it would be charging. So the batteries go on and off the charger very easy. And then here's the cordless drill. So let's, you do have to press this button down to take the battery off. Yeah, they slide on and off pretty easy. We got reverse, forward. We got two speeds for the drill. We got a clutch up here. We can put it to drill. We want to drill. It's got a keyless chuck. Very nice. Feels very well balanced, kind of a gripper action here. It's got a LED light right there that stays on. Let's go to the LED light. That thing is bright. Looks like we got high and then low and then off. It moves all around. Yeah, kind of a neat, neat little light. Okay, let's go to the reciprocating saw. Battery slides on this way. That's a lock. So it is variable speed. It does have a light on the front of it. So it does come with these three bla or four blades. One, two, three, four, five blades for it. Two wood, one metal, and two is kind of like bigger wood. Okay, so on the reciprocating saw, we can adjust the depth of this. There is an Allen wrench that is kept in the handle right here. So. Right here is where that Allen uh, wrench is kept. So pull the Allen wrench out. There's two screws, two Allen screws. You got to loosen right here. And then you can adjust this in and out. And when you get it to where you want it, you're going to tighten both of those down. And make sure you put this back in the handle so that you got it for next time. Snap it in. Okay, for the reciprocating saw, it does have a quick change. Now that's kind of got a spring tension, so you gotta put the blade in like this, kind of get it started, and you're gonna rotate this. Again, it is really kind of hard a little bit, and then let it go, and now it's in there good. And again, to change it, just rotate that up, and it should pull straight out. This does pivot. Okay, so let's go to the circle saw. It looks really nice. Now there is a tool, an Allen wrench right here you're gonna need to install the blade. It just pulls out and then stores right there. So anytime, make sure, I always leave the battery out when I'm doing anything with the blade on this. There's the lock right there. You're gonna, you're gonna have to push down that button and you're gonna, the Allen wrench fits right there. So again, you gotta press this. Again, you may have to press it until it snaps in. You'll see, you kind of feel it turn this. And then finally, when you press that in, it locks this, and now I can loosen that. Okay, so that is reverse threads, and it, it was on there kind of good. So I had to put my Allen wrench like there. Make sure you're holding that in, and it'll kind of catch on it, and then turn it this way. It's the opposite of what you would normally turn a screw. And it'll come all the way off. So there's the screw, take this part off. 
Okay, so to put the blade on, you're gonna have to rotate this all the way up. Be careful, the blade is sharp. It's got an arrow on it. Make sure the arrow right there in the middle matches that arrow right there. So they're both going the same direction. You're gonna set it in here, put it on there, make sure it sits down that little recess area. Put this back on. So this part goes on, see that little recess sticks up. And then you're gonna find the screw. Again, it's the opposite directions. So make it, turn it to the left now. Okay, so we do wanna make sure that's on there nice and tight, so screw it all the way down. Then turn the tool to this direction. Put it in there, make sure you've got the brake in. You're gonna pull it towards you. Again, make sure this, is, this one's nice and tight. Yeah, right there. Okay, so now it's got a little lock here. Press that over. So it does have a brake. Okay, so don't forget to store the tool because you will need that. It snaps in there. This will let you adjust this. We can adjust the angle right here. All the way to 50. There is like a little line there. That's what you're gonna line up. Yeah, so it takes a six and a half inch blade. It does come with this little attachment here and the screw. So you can screw that on right there. It does come with a manual for each tool. The drill does come with a clip. So you can put it on right there and it does come with the screw. It's a, it's a machine screw with machine thread. You're gonna put it through there. You can put it on this side or there, that side for like a belt clip. Comes with a nice carrying case. It's got two handles on it, one zipper unzipped and everything fits inside there. It's got their nice logo. So the drill does have brushes and an electric brake. That's why you'll see sparks coming from it. So on a brushless drill, you won't see that, but this one does have brushes. This seems like a very nice kit. I do like some of the features of it. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Thanks everybody for watching.